What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today we have a new development in the emulation scene. We have UTM-SE now available on iPhone and iPad, and it's also available on Vision Pro, but who cares about that? And you can see this is the actual app store, and I currently don't use this iPad a whole lot as I should be doing so. So we're going to be doing something pretty insane with UTM as soon as it's done downloading. All right, so now we have the app acquired on our iPad. I have it all secured and everything. And now we get to have a ton of fun inside of UTM SE. So we're gonna click on browse the UTM gallery. If we can get an operating system like Windows 10 or Windows 11, we could have so much fun with this. I have a future video planned. If we could get a newer version of Windows, of course, I'm gonna say like Windows 7 will be able to. I know it's definitely possible, but we're gonna be doing Windows XP ISO. I'm just gonna download an ISO file real fast. I'll be right back once the ISO is done downloading. All right, so now we have the ISO downloaded for Windows XP, and we're gonna go into the downloads folder, and here's our Windows XP ISO file. I also went ahead and downloaded the template required, and I'm just gonna click on play, and we'll see what happens. And oh my gosh, it's actually working. We have actual Windows XP on our iPad. We have the setup at least, but we'll see how far we can get. All right, so now we're on the Windows XP setup. It's kind of hard to read the blue screen, but I guess we press uh, setup, yep, press enter. F8, I agree, so press F8 right here. So this is unpartitioned space. That is about 20 gigabytes, 18 gigabytes, I would say. So we're gonna install it right there. Format it using NTFS, because why not? And we'll just need to wait for it to format. So hopefully all this is successful. Looks like it's a little bit slow here. Okay, now it has really started. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure everything is unmuted so we can hear the Windows XP installation music on my iPad, because why not? But yeah, I'll be right back once this is all done. All right, so as an App Store developer, I would like to explain while this is installing, it's taking a while to install, so I might as well just talk about how this is allowed on the App Store. They worked around a rule inside the App Store with the exception for retro emulator. To say that UTM is a retro game emulator made to run a different operating systems of those games. So it's kind of a sketchy workaround and we all know what people are actually gonna be doing with this app. It's not really gonna be used for PC emulation, for gaming, it's gonna be used for other things since I'm not sure how this will run really well. I have an A15 Bionic right here. And all the screenshots really show games, including Windows XP 3D Pinball for Space Cadet. So yeah, in conclusion, they really branded it as a gaming PC emulator, which is how I was able to get on the App Store. It doesn't use JIT or anything, which is why Wii games and Switch games are technically not allowed on the App Store. But it will be interesting to see if we can get Mac OS running on an iPad. And I have a clever workaround for this, so we'll see if it will. All right, so we now have Windows XP fully installed. This is the out of box experience. I left it running all night and now it's completely working. And I woke up to like some weird sound effects and I found out it was this question mark thing. Dang, it's pretty slow. <laughs> it has to be because it's emulated. Also, where's the out of box experience music? Did that already like play or something? All right, we're gonna skip because we should not be connecting to the internet. All right, we're not gonna register. All right, who will be using this? All right, Willie Apple will be using this. And now we should have Windows XP on our iPad. I mean, it may not be the best experience, but we got it on our iPad. Okay, I do not really like this not aligned text. Like, why is it not in the center? It's so weird. Can somebody explain to me why, in the comments, why this is unaligned? Alright, we are now in Windows XP, and I'm gonna do something that iPads can't natively do, unless you download UTM. And this is gonna prove that iPads are capable of this one feature, so I'm just gonna open up, a, okay, this is super laggy right now, I'm not sure how well this will run, but let's get Minesweeper in here. All right, so this just goes to show that Stage Manager can actually run on this iPad mini with the A15 Bionic chip, but this iPad has four gigabytes of RAM, and I guarantee Windows XP is using two. All right, so I keep accidentally opening up Windows XP Tours, and it can support multiple instances, at the same time. I'm sure I can open up multiple Minesweepers at once. For example, new, 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 I guess if I just, oh, let's just start a new game. I'll open up a new window, okay. But I can add Solitaire on here if I wanted to. I'm going to try to open up Paint, I'm gonna find that. Like this is something that you should not be doing on an iPad according to Apple. 
and it's on the Apple App Store as a retro game emulator. So Apple's basically just forcing us as the consumers to buy new iPads. And this does not even have all the drivers installed, which you gotta install drivers on Windows. All right, but we are also using like that much memory in kilobytes on this iPad, which is crazy to think about. That all it needs is this much. So I'm sure I can get video editing software installed here. It might not be good editing software, but keep in mind it's all emulated. This is all emulated on the iPad and it works just fine. It's a lot smoother now, I would say. And I just noticed that the trash cans are on the bottom. Where else have we seen that? But yeah, this is Windows XP running on an iPad. It may not be native or ARM based, but at least it's emulating with x86. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.